Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another StarCraft II replay cast. This is your host, Overmind, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Gold League TBT. So let's go ahead and hop on in and introduce our players. Spawning up at the very tippy top side of Catalina Ladder Edition in red, we have our first Terran competitor. It is Jinja Ninja, which is a name that I call my friend when I want to irritate him. And spawning down on the bottom right side of our map, in blue, we have our other Terran player. It is Rod is Me. Now, whether or not Rod is actually this player's name or not is unknown. But what we do know about him is that he is our submitter, our contributor, and we are very grateful for him. The other thing that I know about this game, having watched it already, is that he originally wanted me to do an analysis of his gameplay to help him improve and I said no, because I am an awful caster and a terrible person. But the reason I said no is because this is actually a very entertaining matchup in my opinion, and I wanted to go ahead and do a more standard cast to show it all to you. Now why is this entertaining? Why have we been speeding along this whole time? There's a Banshee in production. Cloak is on the way. Rod is me has been teching on one base. But over here, also one base. Factory producing Widow Mines, and also a Banshee with Cloak being researched. Oh, this is what I love about mirror matches. Sometimes you actually do get a mirror. Here we have the two Banshees passing each other on the night. If either of them were watching their minimap closely, they would have seen that. Rod is me is taking this opportunity to expand. He's also going to head on into this base. Jinja Ninja unfortunately does have a missile turret up. And we only get one kill from that. But that's okay, because the entertainment value is not yet over. At this point, Rod is me is going to settle in, uh, cancel a few things, and then decide to build tech labs, because he's going to switch to bio, probably. And we don't see any additional banshees coming up from him, however, there are two lurking banshees out here for Jinja Ninja, waiting for the appropriate time to move in, the ideal moment to strike. Now down here we see this base starting to be saturated, couple SCVs, one hanging out a little bit, just getting told to go to work. We have Stim coming up for both players. Looks like Rod is me is getting his uh, level 1 weapons, combat shields, all that good stuff with those double tech labs. And yet here, sneaking in like a serpent, Jinja Ninja moves in, not wasting any of his cloak before he gets there. Getting off of them kills. Two kills on this one. Three on this one. Lots of kills going down. Now I want to note, in Rod is Me's production tab, he is building a missile turret. That's actually going down at his natural expansion. It is very easy to get to the point where you go, Oh, okay, I need to defend my main where the attack is happening. And then forget about this natural. But this missile turret is going to be up in plenty of time. There are going to be a few shots fired at the supply depot. That's unfortunate, but fine. Additional cloak coming in. Oh, missile turrets being produced up here. One finishes. Excellent. We do not yet kill off that Banshee, though. We need a scan. We desperately need a scan. We have Marines. The Marines are being attacked. There, there are several Banshees. For some reason, Rod is me cloaked. He's uncloaking. One Banshee is killed. There's three nice juicy medevacs here that Rod as me could pick off, but it's okay. Right now, everything is fine. He sets up a siege tank, just in case. We still don't have a scan on this Banshee. The Banshee is picking away. I want to see. He's up to 15 kills. His cloak runs out, and he explodes. Now, losing 15 units is difficult. Missing out on the possibility of killing off those three medevacs is unfortunate. But Rod is me is not down and out. No, none of that is happening today. Looks like we're going to get Concussive Shell researching along. We finally have medevacs of his own being added to the mix. And throughout this, we're producing SCVs to try and make up for this. Unfortunately, those three medevacs are back. Now, Jinja Ninja did not drop things immediately. This is spotted. Rod is me is actually moving around this side. I have to scramble to make sure that everything is in view. There we are. All right, this is very scary because Marines do not do well versus tanks at all. In fact, many on the low ground there were killed. 
we have a decent number of marines killing off those ever valuable add-ons to buildings. And this tank here might well be our saving grace if he doesn't get taken out. He doesn't. He's up to 11 kills. Yes. That is a hero tank. Now the marines can't reinforce easily. Looks like the marines are going to run up. Fortunately, they are spread out. And the banshee winds up helping out. All right. All right, everything's okay. These two medevacs are going to get away, but everything in them has pretty well died. This tank, up to 12 kills, doing a very good job there. I don't think this depot is yet burning down, but it is smoking a bit. We could use a bit of repairing in our base. We could use a bit more of constructing our add-ons and recreating what we had. But overall, if we look at the workers and army supply, we see that the worker supply is in Rodismi's favor, despite all of the harassment. Army supply, uh, very, very close. In fact, just about tied right there. So it's anyone's game at this point. Rod is me doing something very bright, taking a third. Over here at Ginger Ninja's base, he's going to go ahead and add on some missile turrets. Given what we've seen in the game, that's pretty understandable. We have no production from the starport. Looks like we're just making marines, SCVs, and turrets right now. So not too much is happening. It could well be just because Jinja Ninja is not quite sure what he should do right now. Probably should go ahead and produce out of those very fancy tech buildings that he built very quickly. However, he doesn't have uh, enough supply depots. That's what he's deciding to prioritize. He's also adding on gas geysers. Looks like he is getting an armory, which of course is quite important for those upgrades. Generally speaking, everything is looking alright, but we see additional weapons research coming up for Rodismi, and we see that he's getting his 2-2. Not quite done yet, but soon. We have a third base. Generally speaking, Rodismi is just overall ahead. Now, I believe that is Jinja Ninja doing a good job of scanning, because right now I don't believe Rodismi has done much scouting at all, aside from his little attempt at a banshee earlier. We do have a ninja base from Jinja Ninja, which seems appropriate. And here we have the two armies. Moving in, we do have a siege tank on the high ground. Very important to have that siege tank on the high ground. The Marines do move out of the way. We have three tanks over here. The rod is me is getting torn apart by those tanks. The Marines are able to move in at this point. A few Marines over here. Oh, this orbital command is burning down! Alright. Alright, only a couple of marines. I believe this orbital command will make it if we just repair quickly. A bit more fighting back and forth going on. We do have a Thor. Thor is doing quite a good job, but unfortunately is not a match for a tank and a handful of marines all by itself. Especially with medevacs to cover. A few units at a time are streaming out of this base. Probably a good idea to group up at this point. Possibly an unfortunate rally point is happening here. This particular barracks is buying time for Rod is me to group up a few marines. You can see him sort of rallying him over here. Should be able to take this. I hope the tank is finally taken out. We have medevacs being focus fired down. And now the marines are killed off. Alright, alright, good, but... Reinforcements! Ah, oh, Jinja Ninja. Jinja Ninja is not producing anything at the moment. He's just focused on the attack. We do have medevacs joining the fight at this time. Siege tank up here could really use a siege up, and indeed we are going to see that. This is one of those tense moments, those scary things that happen when someone is just circling around outside your base. We do have a siege right here, and the scan going to take pot shots off on this barracks, which realistically is not the most important thing here. Siege tank is killed off, but the marines are dying a lot. Definitely want to move those medevacs away. Second siege tank up on the high ground. There is a boost into the base. Drops on the tanks, however, not quite close enough to the tanks that they're really dropping on them. One marine at a time is uh, sort of a slow rate of dropping. Those marines were close enough to that tank that it didn't quite fire, so that was good for those marines. And then these mostly empty medevacs plus one marine move away. Now that one marine has seen some things. I feel actually kind of bad for him. 
Rod is me is just going to go ahead and re-expand. He did not lose this orbital command. It's all repaired up. It's not a problem. Just going to continue to make units, going to make some Thors, going to get those upgrades. He's getting the vehicle and ship upgrades. He's getting what looks like, is this 3-3? Indeed, he's working on 3-3. This is going to make his army quite powerful. We have a Thor heading out here all on its lonesome. I don't know if he should always be on his lonesome. Definitely want some units to head on over and join him, which they do. Jinja Ninja moving out again. Jinja Ninja is doing a very good job of attacking and being aware of sort of what Rod is me is doing at his base. He knows that this expansion is something that Rod is me is trying to get up. And he's doing a good job of making sure that he tries to keep this from being established. Now this isn't going to go well in part because of this tank on the high ground. See all of those explosions and bits of dead marines. This is a commander siege tank now. These poor empty medevacs with the one traumatized marine head back. This single medevac is here for scouting. This base, not really saturated, this is just muling at this point. Upgrading to an orbital, not much has been done with this. There hasn't been a big focus on macro from Jinja Ninja. We just now see him start to build things again. He's getting, uh, looks like level 2 weapons, so unfortunately not nearly as close to being caught up in upgrades with Rod as me as he would want. Looks like we have this being morphed into the ever-wonderful planetary fortress. And an additional expansion going down. Additional expansion also going down for Rod as me, so about even in bases. But at this point, Rod as me has just barely held on to every single one of these attacks. And now is ahead in upgrades. He has this nice bio ball that's forming up. Looks like he has one single marauder loaded into this medevac for a reason, but his army looks quite good at this point. Transfers of SCVs heading to the new mining bases. Brought his meme moves across the map. Jinja Ninja knows exactly what's going on because that medevac was just killed. Looks like he's going to run up the ramp at the main. No, indeed, he's loading up. Oh my gosh, there are Vikings! Don't let the Vikings kill you! Uh, drop! Drop, 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 drop. Dropping up top. Alright, the Vikings are very scary at this point. And there's the medevac death. However, all of the marines have been unloaded. Looks like this tank is trying to get into position, but he is in fact blocked with the anti-micro. We have a few units coming in from the bottom, and Jinja Ninja has left the game. Ugh. I love seeing players hang on through all of that. Now, I have to give it to Jinja Ninja. It's actually really great to be active with your army, to do some harassment. But remember that if you do that too much and you aren't macroing at home, it's a bad thing. Rod as me could certainly do to scout a bit more if we actually go over to his vision on the map. We can see that he's really only been where he has expanded and where his army is. He has no idea that this base exists, no idea what's going on anywhere else on the map. However, Rod is me is our hero for the afternoon. Rod is me is our submitter, our member of the Overmind army, and our contributor. And we appreciate him for giving us this exciting game. Thank you so much, Rod is me. For those of you out there who enjoyed this cast and would like to see me cast one of your games, go ahead and send your replay to noobcrafted at gmail.com. And for those of you too gosu to know how to spell noob, that's N O O B. C-R-A-F-T-E-D at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the ladder.